promised. The fast and loud guys acting fast and loud. What's the story? <laughs> this Richard right Rollins here is what's called full-on marketing. Marketing. Pushing the brand. Sit down over there. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> Take your beer with you. What's going on, sir? <laughs> Richard Rollins, Dennis Collins, fast and loud. The number one automotive TV show in the world right now. Congratulations. Get you some of that. <laughs> but you're the number one uh, radio automobile show, right? Hey, listen. No, I'm not. But, you know, I'm trailing you by about a million miles. It's well, we're all right. we fix that. <laughs> yeah, well. That's why we're here. Fast and loud radio. We'll talk about that after the show. That's what I'm talking about. So there's a couple cars we should show you. Let's talk about it. I'm going to put my professor's glasses on. Lot number 1077, a 69 Mustang Boss 429. What's the story here? Well, uh, Dennis actually uncovered that car up in uh, Minnesota. Barn uh, find. Well, a container find, if you will. It was sitting in a, a steel container, 53-foot container. Yeah. So we're at French Lake Auto Parts, one of the largest junkyards in the world. Yeah, it's cool. And we walk in, and we go to the guy who's like, we understand there's a Boss 9 in the container. He's like, I know who you guys are but I'm not selling it. It's so like, can we see it? It's like, yes. It is negative 26. It's more miserable. I'm never going up there again, even for a boss nine. <laughs> he is complaining the whole time. Horrible. So we go out there, His they open the container, cold, roll it out, and sure enough, Raven Black, the rarest color, the holy grail boss nine rolls out. So, and then we go. Yeah. The hardest part is getting them to open the door when it's not for sale. Once the door's open, it's for sale. Are you telling me? I just saw this. This is unrestored. Yes, yes, sir. So the dirty car was just dusty. You guys detailed it and it's ready to go. Just washed it off. We wow. detailed the car, serviced it, changed the fluids, did wow. the head gaskets, which you have to do on a Boss 9. Runs beautifully. Everything works. It is a totally unrestored, numbers matching, never raced Boss 9. When is it going over the block? Saturday? Friday. Tomorrow. Friday. Tomorrow. Okay. What, 6.30 tomorrow night? Lot. 1077, 69 Mustang Boss, 429. Watch fastback. it! <laughs> what about the next one? What, what is the other one you have here? Here it is. I marked it. Wow, you are Copo. really old. Copo! I know, I got glasses and everything. I'm old. You want me to here. hold this over here? Yeah. With speed? Oh, yeah, it's a Copo! The 2013 <laughs> Copo. Can you put it back? I got to finish. Lot 5003. Is that in the salon selection? It collection? is. It's in the muscle car salon, right? It's in the muscle car salon. Yeah. What they have done in the muscle car salon was they picked 20 of the best cars that are six-figure cars for sure. This is the very last of the CRC cars. One of 20. One of 20. They're all sold out. It's the only one on the market, and it's the only one to have wheelie bars and a 454 in it and a turbo 400. Talk about yeah, a one-off incredibly out. rare car. Yeah. That car is bad, and you told me I couldn't cuss. Bad cool. Bad ass. You know what? Well, oh, you said it. This is getting really easy. You know, I've been on TV now for about 18, 19 months, but Dennis has been on a lot with me, and uh, I'm letting him run the show now. I just sit here and be quiet. This is great. <laughs> Can you give me another beer, you tall Londoner? <laughs> no, the so, reason why he has me talk is I'm the one that knows about the car. So, uh, are you guys here? Are you going to buy anything, you think? You got your eyes on anything? Well, I saw a couple of good looking ladies out there. There you go. You, if, you buy them, if you buy them, you're in trouble. No, no, no. If it flies, floats, or. You rent it, you don't buy it. <laughs> I promise. So 5003 CRC Copo Camaro <laughs> is absolutely an unreal opportunity to own the rarest Copo ever. That's the highest horsepower, biggest cubic inch car to leave the Copo factory, period. And how many more of these? Didn't you buy a few of these cars? We bought uh, 14 of them total. They're all gone. That's all it, gone. number That's 13. It. Okay. And wow. uh, we, uh, we're working on some other things. What's next uh, as far as the TV show? How's it going? Well, we're thinking about buying General Motors. And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just the TV show's going great. Um, the fans are ravenous. Uh, they love us, and, and I can't be more blessed and happy to be where I'm at. I yeah. mean, it's a, it's a great thing to have a good family show that's got a little bit of fun mixed in there and yeah. a little little bit of monkeying around. But we have we're a hoping time. Miller Lite might sponsor us next year. <laughs> we're not well, sure. They already sponsor a lot of families, I'm sure. <laughs> So but anything else you can talk about in the we, future? Uh, we just got picked up for 36 more episodes. Uh, wow. It's the largest dis uh, order that uh, Discovery's ever made on a single show at wow. one time. Yeah. And uh, I've got another show coming out on Discovery that uh, can't quite talk about yet, but uh, it'll be really, really cool piece of uh, uh, watching uh, material for the, the Hot Rod guys out there. They're going to 
Really dig it. And uh, it's something I've been working on for about a year. And we want to give you a massive personal thank you because you were instrumental in helping us get that show. You Period. know what, you guys? Whether you admit it or not, you were. Well, you and Rory, you. big time. Huge. You know, well, thank you for saying that. No, I appreciate it, it Dennis. It's, it's yeah, real. yeah. He, so he, now he's, yeah, he's right. We got to. <laughs> <laughs> it never ends up in the hand. <laughs> ah. Can we talk about the F40 now? Well, you know, yeah, we, discount, we discount what, uh, what you're going to pay me to be on your show. See, so you, <laughs> you actually still owe me now. <laughs> not never get paid. I'll never pay that bill. Talk about the F40. <laughs> the F40? That's the shit. <laughs> it's the internet, here's I guess little, you can say that. Here's a, here's, a little, <laughs> here's a little something. Ferrari built a really cool supercar in the early 1990s. In 2013, Gas Monkey made a really badass supercar out of it. What'd you do? Better brakes, bigger turbos, better suspension, better everything on the car. The we car made was it, great, but We made it, it lighter, faster, and better. We had three F40s in the shop with that car. Our car measures to one millimeter of tolerance. A factory car is three millimeter. It is the straightest, fastest, lightest F40 on the planet. And I will tell Look you, there's it. a lot of purists out there right there. They're already cussing me, right? Yeah. Yo, know, you didn't make a better F40. You didn't do that. We did. I will put it up against any F40 on the planet right now. Bring it. And for the purists that are real Ferrari guys, read Forza. Now, is it, it's in the salon collection it's also? It's in the salon collection. It sells. Sales Saturday I'm night. And loud. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Sales Saturday night around 6:30. Okay. It, I mean, it is a visceral experience to drive that car. I know you've driven some incredible cars. This car is sick to drive. It's killer. All right. And it is a better F40. All right. Watch these guys on uh, Fast and Loud on Discovery, guys. Congratulations. Thanks for being on the show. Not a Thanks problem. Thanks for time. Really Dennis Collins. Freaking rock. It is Barrett Jackson online, and hey, they um, can say the S word. That's I can't. a good looking chicky over there. That's my wife and my daughter uh, and my other family members. So hey, what's stay up, away. baby. What's Escort him out. We'll be back. Back to the block here. We'll be back. <laughs> it is Barrett Jackson online. <laughs>